Play the melody as well, right? Yeah, no, that's my fault. Well, anybody else want to do the top thing? Is anybody there yet? Do you want to say hi if you are? <laughs> Yeah. Would you like? Yeah. 
Start the gig now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody want to prepare a paper penny? <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> 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 oh. Never mind. Never mind. Um, this is the first time I've ever done a, an online gig like this, so how exciting. We are quarantined in the mountains <laughs> of Slovenia um, in a, a house of musicians and artists and puppeteers, so we're, we're very lucky actually to be in this house. Um, how are we doing? Yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important. What's the giraffe's name? Melindy, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, we're going to start with a song um, called The Canal Song, and I wrote it um, a while ago. I used to live in a city called Leicester, and um, I was... Uh, yeah, there's, it's not so well known for its green space, um, but there is a really magic little place uh, running through the middle. There's a, a canal, um, and it's really, really well used by the community, and it runs out into a meadow. And um, when you go there in the summer, there's uh, children speaking all different languages, uh, paddling in the streams and stuff. It's a really beautiful place. So I started to think about how important these kind of free green spaces are for people. And at the moment, it seems to have taken on a whole new kind of relevance, really, because everybody just wants to um, be out and get their half an hour of green space. I hope everyone watching is uh, safe and healthy and, yeah, finding a little bit of space of their own as well. Um, so, yeah, this song is called The Canal Song. Ready? Ready? Amongst the high-rise and the concrete the hustle of the masses There's a secret corridor of green And emerald in the ashes And many feet have walked this path In many different shoes Some polished bright and golden Some begged, borrowed or stolen Hello, my friend, it's good to be out today. We all can keep a distance and two worlds that never merge momentarily entangle like the brambles of the birch and stories of long journeys and injustices shared. 
as we touch the stinging nettles and we breathe the leafy air. Come, my friend, and walk with me today. friend at best be on my way I hope we meet again another day a top a faceless high rise a hand rolls out a map and strikes a line through empty space but who on earth needs empty space Thank you. We have uh, our one audience member, Moitza, <laughs> here. It's very nice to have her. Um, thank you very much. Um, if you've just joined us, I, I'm Hannah. This is Mattia, and this is Enya. Uh, we're in uh, Slovenia, um, hiding out, quarantining ourselves. But we're very lucky that there's a bunch of uh, musicians and uh, artists here. So um, we're all kind of part of this international community uh, called Ethno, which is... Uh, yeah, these big international music gatherings that happen in lots of places, but Mattia runs one here in Slovenia, and it's a really big one, and it's a very, yeah, beautiful and important um, community of musicians who are across the world. So we're saying a big hello to everyone who's uh, watching from wherever you may be, um, and I hope you're safe and, um, yeah, finding some music. Um, I'm just going to see what people might have said. Um, if, you, um, if you can't hear something... Uh, hello, hello, Barrow in Furness, great. Um, yay, um, my dad's watching, excellent. Um, um, is your mum here? I can't see her yet, I can't see her. Maya, if you're watching, <laughs> say hi. <laughs> um, if there's anything that you can't hear, let us know and we'll uh, turn it up. Um, being a sound engineer today as well. <laughs> so... We're going to continue with a song um, called The Carpenter. And um, I, I 
put this song together for my first solo album. And um, yeah, I made a, a show called Jig Doll, um, which was kind of a, a mixture of um, traditional words and um, some of my own stuff. Um, and it was all about um, dancing and making things out of wood. Um, and because I'm also a clog dancer, but I don't have my clogs here, actually. Um, I've got step dancing shoes instead. So anyway, um, yes, this song, The Carpenter, I, I was looking for a song about a carpenter on a, a big online archive called the Full English Archive. Um, and I came across this um, handwritten poem with no name or date on it um, called The Carpenter and just kind of fell in love with it immediately and set it to this tune. So this is The Carpenter. Carpenter, carpenter, what are you doing? Take me to your shop. Oh, what are you shaping and scraping and hewing? Saw and saw and chip and chop. And carpenter, why as you work do you sing? Merrily, merrily sing. And carpenter, why as you work do you sing? Merrily, merrily sing. I saw a wood pigeon fly down this way And under her wing is a soul, they say A little white soul A little white soul And for that a cradle I'm making today And I'll sing till the rafters ring I'll sing I'll sing till the rafters ring Carpenter, carpenter, what are you doing? Take me to your shop Oh, what are you shaping and scraping and hewing? Saw and saw and chip and chop And carpenter, why as you work do you sing? Merrily, merrily sing And carpenter, why as you work do you sing? Merrily, merrily sing I saw a wood pigeon fly down this way And under her wing is a soul, they say A little white soul A little white soul And for that a cradle I'm making today And I'll sing till the rafters ring I'll sing Carpenter, carpenter, what are you doing? Take me to your shop. Oh, what 
toys shaping and scraping and hewing sore and sore and cheap and sharp and cup into eyes you work decide sadly sadly sigh and cup into eyes you work to you Sadly, sadly, sigh. I saw a wood pigeon up to the cloud soar, and under her wing a poor soul she bore. A little white soul, a little white soul. And therefore of coffins I'll make one more And I'll sigh with a tear in my eye I'll sigh For the little white soul The little white soul <laughs> Thank you very much. Who's watching now? Who's watching? Hello, hello, everybody. Nobody seems to have said anything about the sound. Can you hear the fiddle today? Fiddle up, someone's saying. Claudia's uh, saying fiddle up. Fiddle up, fiddle up. Okay. Uh, I'll turn the fiddle up. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> so, we're going to play you a tune next. Two tunes, actually. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, hello, everyone. So we are going to play two tunes, exactly. First tune, we don't know the name, and the second one, we know the name. The first one comes from far away, from uh, we don't know exactly where. I learned it a uh, long time ago. It was the first tune I learned on accordion. And the second one is uh, Elian Polka? Elian. Ah, Elian. It's Elian. like like Elian. No, <laughs> ah, no, you like ah, ah, OK, sorry. <laughs> and uh, we just learned it now, so it's uh, quite fresh stuff. One, two, three, four. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, um, I'm very, very grateful to Home Roots for putting this online festival together. Um, it's really amazing how the musical community have been responding and, and looking out for each other during this mad time. And, um, yeah, so I should actually be in Canada right now on tour with a fantastic cellist who we all know very well called Toby Coon. Um, but we couldn't travel, obviously. Um, Toby is currently quarantined in uh, the Turkish mountains, which doesn't sound all that bad, really. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're doing this gig, and uh, he's not watching because he's not got Facebook. But uh <laughs> um, but we're going to do. A, me and Toby have actually just uh, recorded a new album, and uh, this next song is going to be on that. Um, it's a song that I wrote. I was kind of thinking about the way that we're perceived from um, a distance and how that often is not quite the same as how we are kind of in person up close. And, um, and then a friend of ours um, who is a, a circus performer and an incredible juggler called Ava um, told me this little uh, seed of a story um, about a very unusual giant. So um, 
yeah, it sparked this song. Mm. I think I'm going to try and put um, my accordion mic on this mm. to see if we can get it to work. Yeah, it's probably not going to. No, because I, I can like hang it from here, maybe. Oh, this is probably loud in the thing here, sorry. can hear that. Looks like you can on my little screen. <laughs> okay. Ready? Once was a giant who lived far away, stood tall in the minds of the people, they say. And one day the giant set out for a walk, for he tired of the quiet and company song. Beyond the next hill Where people were happy And full of goodwill So over the mountain He wandered his way In the heat of the sun On a bright August day His mighty stature rejoicing their luck For who could have thought on a bright August day That such a great giant would travel their way Them, his gigantic frame became ever smaller the closer he came and when to the village at last he arrived he was just a small boy with tears in his eyes he stood and he smiled as the crowd gathered round and thought of the friendship he finally found but as he looked closer he saw that their eyes gazed over his shoulder and up to the sky The splendid dark shadow he left on the hill had dazzled their minds and delighted them still. So the sad little boy who nobody could see decided the giant was all he could be.
So back up the mountain he wandered along, and there he remains in his far away home. And people still dream of that fortunate day, tell tales of the giant who travelled their way. How are you doing, everyone? <laughs> um, my new favourite group. That's good. Yes. Ah, someone's watching from the Isle of Wight. Yes. Um, good. Okay. It's weird to look at your phone when you're doing a green tech stream. Oh. Oh. Have you got a mic? Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> Remember to put this mic back on. <laughs> Sorry, there's going to be a bit of noise for a second. Mm. Um, so the the uh, me and Toby have just made an album, but it's not out yet. Um, but this time last year, well, just a bit earlier, um, my ensemble, um, which is also a bunch of musicians that are part of the same kind of international community. Um, recorded a gig in the Budapest Music Centre um, and it's called The Woman and Her Words um, and uh, yeah this next song and a couple of the others we're going to do tonight uh, are on that album and the, the link to I've just put it on Bandcamp I'm now fully in the 21st century um, so uh, yeah it's, it's, on, it's on there now and there's a link um, on the video to the video so I'm going to do a song now that I wrote a couple of years ago after the the shooting that happened in the school in Florida. And um, yeah, I kind of wrote it as a response to um, what was happening on social media around that time. Uh, because a lot of the young people who were survived this awful thing, hiding in cupboards and stuff, because um, it was a secondary school, they went home and they went straight onto social media and started to write posts about how they really deserve to be safe in their own schools and call in for stricter gun regulation. Um, and on that same day um, that they just survived this awful thing, um, pro-gun lobbyists were directly messaging them and in a very kind of mocking way um, defending their right to own guns. Um, and using very strange language, like this word crybaby that often gets thrown around when people are just asking questions about why things are the way they are. And um, yeah, I think crying is a very normal response to that kind of situation. So um, anyway, this song is a response to all of that, really. Um, and it's called Hush Now. Hush now, my darling, sleep now and dream Dark clouds dim the light of the morning's first beam And hush now, my darling, sleep now and rest Your body lies still in an untimely nest Who was the stranger who crept through the hall? And set you to slumber so soon after dawn Did he have a black dog? Did he wear a disguise? Was a star-spangled banner still blinding his eyes? From where came the voices that told him to draw? Did they hide in their chambers defending the law? Did they write the newspapers that filled him with hate? Did they throw poison lines until he took the bait?
So hush now, my darling, here comes the night. Broad stripes and bright stars take a perilous flight. The banners are hanging at half-mast today, while men in high towers do nothing but pray. If he'd harmed you with flesh of his own, then we'd hunt him and hound him with sticks and with stones. But he entered your body with fire and with lead. So we'll fight for his freedom as we lay your head. And why aren't you talking of terror, you say? Well, there's no need for language like that here today. He was young, he was wild, he was sick, he was white. So there's no speak of terror this terrible night. So hush now, my darling, lie still and sleep. The country is silent, refusing to speak. And hush you cry, babies, who will not agree with the rights of the grave in the land of the free. Um, thank you. Um, so, we've actually got four people here in the room with us, and we're, yes, and, and lots of plants, lots of tiny little plants. So, um, we've been, since we've all been quarantined here, we've been doing a lot of singing together, so we thought it would be really nice to do one song. All of us, yeah? Do you want to come up? <laughs> we could put, maybe, if you put two, the two and sing kind of around them, so... There's going to be a little bit of manoeuvring, everyone. Sorry about that. <laughs> version of a Sacred Heart song, probably the most famous one, um, Idi Mele or Idimia, I don't know how you actually say to pronounce it, um, and um, I first, uh, <laughs> we arranged this, uh, m most Sacred Heart songs are in four parts, um, but this is a three part version that my trio, uh, which is called Lady Marjorie, it's a vocal trio, uh, we adapted it a few years ago, so we've been singing this for a while because we were looking for another route, <laughs> so it's a really easy one. Trembling. 
Hello, Raphael. Um, <laughs> still keeping it. No. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> no one saw that. <laughs> um, no, there's two more. I'm just. Can you hit? I think you can hear my feet, okay? I hope it's not too deafening. It doesn't look like it's peaking or anything. Anyway. Um, yeah, we've just got a couple more for you. Um, we're, I'm enjoying this. I hope everyone else is. Are you enjoying it? Yes. <laughs> it's, I feel like I waffle a lot more when there's no audience. There's like no pressure to stop talking. I think that's the... <laughs> so we're going to play a tune now um, that I wrote and I dedicate it to another accordion player um, who is uh, just an incredible, inspiring musician and person. And uh, her name is Tuliki Bartosik. And actually, a few years ago, we made an album together um, called Chatterbox. And, um, but yeah, the, this tune is actually on um, the album that's on Bandcamp, I think, on my first album. I recorded it twice. And uh, it's just called Gay. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's called um, Tuliki's Tune.
Um, we've just got time for one more, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to do a li little bit of rearranging. <laughs> this might be a bit too loud. I might have to turn it down. Sorry if it's a bit loud. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, yes, <laughs> we're uh, we're very grateful to be here and to be um, able to play together. Uh, we have all basically just lost three months' work, so we really, really appreciate um, Home Roots putting this together. And if you've enjoyed it, maybe you know you're welcome to donate. You know, it's an option. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, we're going to finish off with um, a tune. What is the tune called? Do you know? <laughs> it's a French. Swedish. Swedish. Oh, it's a Swedish thing. Okay. Swedish duo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Swedish Greg. <laughs> Swedish Greg. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you're in Canada and you don't know what a burrick is, it's a kind of um, Slovenian wrapped up. Uh, cheesy pastry thing is really good. Mm. It's really good. Yeah, I, don't know. Yeah. I mean, what is it? Volta. Volta. Yeah. Volta. Yeah. Volta. 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 Oh, sorry. You know what? Waka faux pas. <laughs> but it's not a burek anyway. So it's a burek. No. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> thank you to Home Roots, and um, we'll hopefully see you again <laughs> soon. <laughs>
Good work, Emma. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. What about the Lost your head. Thank <laughs> you.